If you had to describe what a CB is, what would you say? A fighting construction worker, mm, pretty yeah. much. Construction worker a on constru steroids? Yeah, a construction, construction worker with a rifle on his head. <laughs> Really, you get two different responses. They're like, CBs, what's that? What's that? What the heck is a CB? Well, the CBs are, they're the construction force for the Navy. So, you know, that's what the, the CB stands for, Construction Battalion, CBs. We're very unique to the Navy, is that we don't go on ships. Uh, you know, we do the construction, we do all, all the vertical, we do horizontal, we do plumbing, we do welding, we do electrical, you name it, we can do it. You know, in the wars, the civilian construction workers were deployed to maintain bases and everything else, but they weren't able to carry, carry rifles or defend for themselves. Because, you know, that was kind of one of the reasons we came around, because you couldn't arm civilians to go and uh, help out in the fight. So whenever they're marching forward with the Marines, the CBs were right there with them. Construction force that can fight was important to have, and that's really, you know, how we, you know, it comes full circle and we're out here in Hawaii, you know, continuing that legacy and doing that. Mostly what we do is carpentry. So any vertical construction, sometimes even horizontal construction, we do it, so. The backbone of the CBs pretty much, I mean, we pretty much do everything as far as construction goes, almost everything. Uh, we did everything from underground to overhead electrical, so um, power distribution, generators, interior electrical, pretty much just a little bit of everything. Are, uh, connected to the main power source. So construction mechanic is pretty much the mechanic of the CVs. We work on preventative maintenance as well as corrective maintenance um, on, on all these pieces of equipment. When you go from big picture all the way down to the tiny details like where the lights are, where the switches are, where the outlets are. Yeah, our job is very tedious work. With everything that we do, surveying, you know, it has to be exact. If you do one little thing wrong, you know, you have to redo the whole uh, test, which some of them are multiple days in length. The whole command, they depend on us. And without us, they can't get to where they need to be, like get the project materials to the project sites, or moving boxes to the airfield, anything like that. So we, we move the command. So the uh, closest thing for a civilian would be an iron worker. They do a lot of uh, rebar, reinforced steel for the buildings, for concrete, and then also welding, dissimilar and uh, similar metals. ET is a pretty expansive rate. So there's plumbing, there's HVAC, uh, boiler systems, uh, pumps, compressor systems, and water to drink. <laughs> Gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> Everybody needs a bathroom. We're Construction Battalion Maintenance Unit 303. So we're out here um, supporting the, the fleet and building the construction for the forward deployed forces and also supporting the base as much as we can. It's great. It's a family. It really is. And this is a lifestyle. The CVs is a lifestyle. Once you're a CV, you're always a CV. So as a CB, you can't just only know your own rate and be successful. You have to outsource and broaden your horizons when it comes to construction because if you don't know how to do other people's jobs, you're, you know, you're kind of behind the curve. But I've seen some EOs that can build just as good, if not better, than the builders. And I've seen some builders that can operate just as, as good as the EOs. For instance, like on our project site, we'll, we'll break the ground, all, same, all, all different rates, all seven different rates, and we will finish all seven rates. It's not you come in when the electrical needs to be done or you come in when equipment operating when dirt needs to be moved. You know what I mean? You, you start and finish and you work outside your rate and you work well with one another and you learn. It makes me feel good that I'm able to help and contribute and not just be a CE. I don't want to be seen as a CE. I want to be seen as a CB. When we're not doing the, the fighting thing, not supporting the warfighter, then we're doing a lot of humanitarian assistance. And it's just always nice once you're done, you just see the kids like really happy, oh yeah, we have this new classroom now, or even the medical staff. 
know what they had before and now they have like this nice cleaner facility that they can use. Um, it was outstanding. Uh, it kind of was worth my while to see that finished product. With the CBs, you get to see what you do. You know, you, you see what you put all your hard work into. And it is very rewarding and fulfilling. I'm proud to put on the uniform every day and uh... If I wasn't a CB, I wouldn't be in the Navy, you know? It's just, they're like, hey, you can't be a CB anymore? All right, I'm packing my bags. We're out there day in and day out, you know, building stuff for the fleet, supporting the fleet, you know, and, and making it happen in the background. You know, the background support is definitely something that is very important. And without, you know, that proper support, the, the wars and the fights, they're, they're not going to be as effective. So, you know, you know, we're here, we've been here, we're not going anywhere. So, you know, the CBs, you know, our motto, we build, we fight, it's definitely something that you know, we all take to heart.